Hello, what is up guys? Gamerboy30 here, back with another video, and today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some light effects with your launch pad. So, uh, first of all, what you gotta do to set up the lights here, is, uh, you gotta go up here, you gotta do, if you I'm using a launch pad MK2, so you gotta do, just let it focus, this is, this says launch pad MK2 outlet. And if you have a launch pad MK2 or any launch pad, just do your launch pad. Sorry, it's not focusing. Yeah, launch pad MK2 and choose that. And then it has to be on channel 6. If you're on launch pad pro or MK2. But if you're not on either one of these and you have like a different launch pad, you don't have to do this last step. You can do just channels. You can do any channel. Actually, no, I think it's, you don't have to do this channel thing. If you have a launch pad, uh, like in any other different launch pad than a launch pad MK2 or a pro. And, uh, so what you do next is you gotta go down here, you gotta get a MIDI effect rack in the MIDI effects section. You gotta get a MIDI, wait a minute, you gotta get a MIDI effect rack right here. I already dragged one down, you just gotta drag one down to here, and then you're gonna go, you're gonna, so, you're, as soon as you get the MIDI effect rack, I have two down here, as soon as you get one, you're gonna press this button, and then you're gonna go into key, and by the way, once you do all this, the lights will appear, and you are going to press one, let's say you want this to be your light effect. This one will flash, this, yeah, this key corresponds to there. Like, this corresponds to that. And, how, if you don't know how a launch pad's set up, it basically goes, like, this, like, th these would be, this would be that. And then it just goes up a row, and it just keeps going. And then once you get up to there, it goes all the way down to here, up to there. And it basically goes from here, there, all the way to here. And that's like the scale of the notes. And that's how a launch pad is basically set up. So if you want this note to be on your light effect like that, you you can well first you gotta create a chain so you're right clicking and you press create chain and you gotta let's say you want this to be your note you got you wanna let's say you want this one to be the light effect that you wanna have so you're gonna click you're gonna press it and then you're gonna look on there and then you can either grab each side left click it and drag to it. And make sure it's right. See, I got it wrong. So it would be right to there. Or you could just left, actually double click it. Um, so first you got to be holding in the note. And then you can left click. to. You can double left click and it will actually go straight to it. But since I'm holding the camera, I can't really do that. So I'm just going to drag. But it, if you don't have a camera on your hands or something in your hands, you can do this and then left click on your mouse and it'll go straight to that note. And if you notice on the launch pad, now only this one lights up and none others do. So basically this is your first basic, this is your first basic light effect. Like this is the first light effect you can possibly do. Okay. Now next, I'm just going to show this first because it's probably the most simple, but uh... I'm gonna grab a velocity. A velocity. Uh, it's right here. Velocity. You're just gonna drag it down here, right after the MIDI effect. Wreck. And make sure not to drag it out to here, cause then, like, that would be like to the right of this, and it wouldn't be like. See, like, this actually changes the color, and if I do this, it still works, but it doesn't really. I just prefer having it in here. Because it's with the MIDI effect rack and all that kind of stuff, and it's just way easier. I think it still works. It's just... I like it when it's in the MIDI effect rack. 
So as you can see, this changes the color. I personally like this color. It's really nice. And uh, next I'm gonna show you the cord. I'm gonna grab one, two, and three to show you what to do with these. Basically what the cord does is you can stack like the uh, colors on top of each other. So I'm starting here. And if I do one semitone, this will there will be a light one semitone after that. And now if I do two, there will be a semitone. Let's just do three. Let's just do three. I want to do three. And if I do three and I start here, there should be a semitone right here. This, if you go three semitones, you, there should be a light here and here. So, if you understand, if you don't understand, you should catch, you will be able to catch on pretty fast. You just gotta count over three, and that's where the light will be. And if you do one, two, three on the chords, it'll, be, there will be one, one over, two over, and three over, and there. So it'll go like this. And what you can do is you can also add a pitch in, like a pitch. And the pitch, it basically shifts it however times you do it over. So I'm going to shift it over once. Once. <clears throat> and now if I press this, it should light up a whole entire row above that. Because I shifted this over one. So now it's lighting up a whole entire row. <clears throat> And now, if we actually do 4, 8, 12, adding another chord, basically, like, dupli I, I wouldn't say duplicating it, but it basically adds more on top, if it makes sense. Now, if you press this, it should light up the whole entire box up here. Yeah. <clears throat> and now, if you do negative 16 here, if you do negative 16... 16 and 32 it should light up the whole entire launch pad like the whole entire launch pad and without this pitch actually it would be doing the whole entire launch pad except this one up here that one with my pinky finger that that one won't be lighting up but with the pitch, that's why it's lighting up the whole entire launch pad. It, that's basically why. So this is one of the easiest light effects, I would say. So. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you guys one more thing. I'm going to show you guys the arpeggiator. And I'm going to put the arpeggiator down here first. I'm, and first of all, this right here, it changes the speed of the flash. So, see? Yeah? See how that's flashing? That's what the arpeggiator is doing. And if I put that at a 1, it does it very, very slow. So, But the thing is, if you do it, like, too fast, like here, it kind of, like... it's. I think it's way too fast. If it's, I would say it's way too fast. It, like, if you do something like chord trigger, which makes the whole entire thing light up, so you kind of, like, freezes, like, you press it once, and it, like, I, yeah, if you put it on, actually, if you put it on hold, like, press hold on there, like, hold, you can actually just press it, and you don't have to hold it in, and it just goes, which I think is really nice. And all you have to do to make it stop is just press on, if you just, D, like, unclick hold like left click hold again and then click it again it'll s just stop so uh now this is where stuff can get a little bit cool if you put the arpeggiator in between one of the chords you'll get something actually like this wait a minute i'm gonna put it on converge and if you put it in the middle of one, you'll get something... Wait a minute, I'm just going to put it to 124. You'll actually get something like this. And, you're, and you'll actually get something like this because you're putting it in between the chord, so it's actually interrupting it. 
so it's going to chord chord arpeggiator chord. And now if you put the arpeggiator here, it'll go chord arpeggiator chord chord. And since the arpeggiator is interrupting before those two chords, it'll look like this. And that's basically all I really need to show you guys. So, uh, yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, I'm using Ableton 10, if you guys are wondering. By the way, if you want to get into this mode right here, like, all you have to do is press tab on your keyboard, and then it switches back into each mode. It's basically just this, but it looks... They're basically the same, but I, I just like this mode better. And this samples... Samples is for music, and the lights are, well, are for making the lights, obviously. So, uh, yeah, that's all I really needed to show you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment down below if you like, if you want any more of these kind of videos. And, uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.